time for some rendering. We basically have two choices. Well, obviously we have more than two choices, but two native choices. So either we can go with Mantra, or we can go with the new and flashy Karma. But as Karma is still in beta when I'm recording this, I feel the need to cover both. So I'm going to start setting everything up for Mantra, and then I'm going to do the same setup in Solaris. All right, so I've changed something. I've added a camera since the previous session. So you can see I have this camera going through them. Whee! And then the car coming there. So that's cool. And I also, I just relabeled the car. And I just made it obvious that it's geometry. And that's it, basically. So let's start with Mantra then. So I'm now going to start with the car because I have some texture for it. So it's going to be really straightforward. I'm just going to drop down a principal shader. And in here, I'm going to go to textures. And I'm going to look what I have. And here are my police car texture. You can see it's set to Udim, but by default, you're probably going to have that as a frame range. Then it's going to look like it's an animated sequence, but it's actually not. It's Udim's set is Udim, and then it's going to load them correctly. So I'm going to select the space color first. And then I'm going to go to the roughness and select that one. And then I'm going to go to metallic and set that one. And then I'm going to go to the normal and set that one. Sweet. And let's call this car. And then I'm also going to have a ground. So I have another principal shader. I call this ground. And this one, I'm going to have the roughness way up. And then let's put some color to it. I'm, I'm not going for some realism here. I just want to show you some core concepts. So that's maybe something like that. Could that be good? I don't know. Let's see. So now we have two materials and with the car. And let's do the zombie as well. So do another principal shader. And for now, we're just going to have it as a gray thing. But let's look into that more later. So doo -doo -doo, I'm going to go out to object again. For the car, I'm going to add material. I'm going to add the car. So we can see it in the viewport that it is working. But let's turn off the textures. And then for the environment, let's point to this ground. So now we have that one. And then for the crowd, let's add the zombie. And then we want to have some lights. I'm just going to choose the skylight to make it really simple. And let's go. I'm going to look through the sunlight. And then I'm going to... I'm going to click this little lock here, so I can move it around, and then I'm going to... Oh, actually I can't, because it's connected to the skylight, I'm guessing. So let's see it from... Let's just see it from the camera again. And then I'm going to rotate it here on the environment light instead. So let's rotate this maybe to 90. Oh, that's too much. 75. And... I don't know, 90. Something like that. And then let's see what that gives us. So I'm going to go to the render view. And then I'm going to click this render button. All right, so here we go. So now it's starting rendering a little bit. So what is done in this out context, it created this mantra IPR that is using here. You can see that it's selected here. So if you don't have a mantra, it's just going to create this node for you here. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> Obviously, this doesn't look great. Let's let's move the sun a little bit. So I'm gonna stop this. I just wanna. I'm gonna produce something like this. I'm also gonna go to exposure and get it up a little bit. Let's see what that gives us. Let's go to the material and take down the ground intensity. I think it should be darker. Something like that. Okay. But like I said, I don't tend to go for some realism here or anything. I just want to show you some core concepts. Then it's up to you to make it beautiful. All right. Okay, so here we have like our gray zombies and we have a police car. And uh, yeah, okay.